Alright, so welcome to this channel, my family of lusty bones. Yeah, it has been a while, and this time may I greet you guys in the name of the Lord Jesus. Perfect day, says of God. Alright, this question goes to all of us. Have we all kept our hearts clean, consecrated in the eyes of God? God is demanding our righteousness, so let us walk in His righteousness and holiness. Because the time of His coming back has already come, so that means we are living in the added time. Anytime from now, the Lord Jesus is coming for His church. Alright, so today in this video, we are going to talk about the clash between Dr. Abel Damina and Apostle Johnson Suleiman. This fight that is going on right now in the churches of Nigeria is getting worse as I see most of the pastors are taking these fights personal and the end results of this fight, you people will not like it. False Christ and false prophets. They peddle miracles. They go around noisily hawking their wares. They are into showmanship. It's all about miracle, miracle, miracle. And they go all over the place. You've got to be careful because like I've always said, miracles are not a exclusive to Christianity. The people now come out with their own mouth to testify. You still say it's a lie. Very soon you will say the word of God is a lie. Any church, any preaching where the emphasis is on great signs, wonders, miracles, like the recent ones we're hearing all over the place. You know, lions appearing and all kinds of stuff. You've got to be wary and careful. If the supernatural acts of God are not real, then what are we here? Without power, Christianity is a club. How do you explain Daniel spending the night with hungry lions? It wasn't a movie. Be careful how you rubbish the supernatural because what the devil is doing, Satan knows a day will come in your life. All you will need to get out of trouble is the supernatural. So anytime you speak against the act of God, you are shortchanging yourself. Shut up your mouth. Your criticism of God's power does not diminish God's power. Shut up your mouth. That is how you make people gullible. We have what is called discernment. And as children of God, we must be discerning. So this is what we are going to discuss today in this video. So Dr. Abel Damina has finally decided to fight all these men of God and they are not also giving up. They are also fighting back, firing back. So today in this video, we are going to look at what Apostle Johnson Suleiman said about Dr. Abel Damina after Dr. Abel Damina coming out to criticize the miracles and the testimonies of the people from the chosen church. So this didn't go well with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. As we all know that this is not the first time they are having a problem. They have been fighting for a long time over the issue of the prosperity gospel. So Apostle Johnson Johnson Suleiman had to come out to confront, to threaten, and to scare Dr. Abel Damina. But we all know Dr. Abel Damina fears no one. So let us watch and listen first what Apostle Johnson Suleiman said about him. And we are coming back for Abel Damina's reply on this. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14, the natural man received not the things of the spirit. They are foolishness. They are foolishness. You know what the devil is doing right now? Listen to me, everybody, and listen very well. Don't follow any trend that rubbishes the supernatural. If the supernatural acts of God are not real, then why are we here? Without power, Christianity is a club. It takes power to stand out. You have to be very careful. Don't follow the trend. Avoid what is trending. When the devil wants... You know what is happening? When a pastor has a testimony, somebody told him a testimony, and the pastor said, this is what somebody shared. They say, oh, it's a lie. The people now come out with their own mouth to testify. You still say it's a lie. Very soon you will say the word of God is a lie. That's where we are going. Because the Bible is a book of supernatural. How do you explain Daniel spending the night with hungry lions? It wasn't a movie. Jesus walked on the water. It wasn't a movie. He took five loaves of bread and fed 5,000 men. It wasn't a movie. Somebody touched the hem of his garment and became healed. That was not a movie. Be careful how you rubbish the supernatural because what the devil is doing, Satan knows a day will come in your life. All you will need to get out of trouble is the supernatural. Anytime you rubbish the act of God, it does not stop the act of God. It stops the act of God in your own life. It doesn't stop the act of God from happening. Abuse miracles from now till next year. People are still getting miracles. But you will not get miracles. So anytime you speak against the act of God, you are shortchanging yourself. Your criticism of God's power does not diminish God's power. It only diminishes it in your life. So whenever you speak against the act of God, you are undoing yourself. It means nothing to God. Miracles will keep happening. Strange things will keep happening. When God gives you a platform and you use that platform against him, he will take it from you. A wise man who became great, I asked him a question. He told me, he said, three people you must avoid in life. He said, clergymen, whether malams or pastors, he said, avoid. Whether they are fake or they are real, he's lead them with the God. They have a judgment waiting for them. He said, number two, royal fathers, kings. 
He said, avoid them because they are connected to ancestors. You speak against them, the ancestors will come for you. He was telling me. He said, number three, which is very careful, orphans. He said, you see orphans? God is their father. Avoid them. He told me, say, if you are smart, you avoid this three category of people, you will go far in life. But Do you all understand what Apostle Johnson Suleiman is trying to say? Never criticize any man of God, even if they are fake or they are real. Never criticize a man of God. Never criticize any miracle. Because you don't know whether it is from God, manipulated, or it is from the devil. So these miracles and testimonies that these people are fighting for, they are not even miracles. They are not testimonies. These are just dreams. How can a dream turn to a testimony? I don't know where the church of this generation is going. They are fighting for the dreams. They are believing in a dream. Yes, it is God speaking in the dream. But this is not a testimony. So let's listen and watch what Dr. Abel Damina had to say as his reply to Apostle Johnson Suleiman. The problem with some people is we spend hours teaching them the Christ of the scriptures. And they don't want to invest time to know the Christ of the scriptures. They don't want to learn the Christ of the scriptures. Because there is a Christ of the scriptures and there is another Christ. There's a Christ of the scriptures and there is another Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 3, he says, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Next verse, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So there is the Christ of the scriptures or the Christ according to the scriptures. Yet someone will tell you he died and rose after two days. And he begins to download to you his fantasies and you believe it. And those fantasies do not even align with the Christ of the scriptures. Look at Matthew 24 verse 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ or there believe it not next verse for there shall arise false christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders so one of the distinct features of a false christ and a false prophet is great signs and wonders great signs and wonders that's why you must be wary of any place where the only thing that they celebrate are miracles, miracles, signs, wonders. No sound teaching of God's word. No sound teaching. No sound Bible teaching. They are not exposed to sound doctrine. The only thing they promote is miracle, 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 signs and wonders. You may be peddling a false Christ and you may be patronizing a false prophet. Pull it up again, please. This is very important. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and what will be their distinct feature? And shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Any church, any preaching, where the emphasis is on great signs, wonders, miracles, like the recent ones we're hearing all over the place, you know, lions appearing and all kinds of stuff. You've got to be wary and careful. And somebody says, well, you know, don't laugh at miracles because the day you need it, you may not have it. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. That is how you, you make people gullible. We have what is called discernment. We have discernment. And as children of God, we must be discerning. We must not be carried about by every wind of doctrine all over the place. No, 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 no. One of the major, major features of a false prophet and a false Christ is they will show, show, they like to show, to display. And it will be great signs and wonders. He said even the very elect may be deceived if they are not careful because... One of the distinct features is signs and wonders. False Christ and false prophets. They peddle miracles. They go around noisily hawking their wares. They are into showmanship. It's all about miracle, miracle, miracle. And they go all over the place. You've got to be careful. Because, like I've always said, miracles are not exclusive to Christianity. 
Miracles are not exclusive to Christianity. Dr. Damina, do you believe in miracles? I believe in miracles. A child of God is a miracle worker. He carries miracles as part of his lifestyle. He does not chase miracles. He doesn't go from pillar to post looking for miracles. No, miracles follow him wherever he goes. Miracles are part and parcel of his relationship with God. He doesn't go around looking for them because they are part and parcel of his relationship with God. So that is why you don't go around peddling miracles and projecting miracles. Miracles do not save anybody. Only the gospel saves. What we have that is exclusive to us as Christians is the gospel. And we must stay with the gospel. We must be committed to the gospel. And anywhere the gospel is properly preached, the Lord will walk with it, confirming his word in the lives of men and women with signs and wonders. With All right, my family of lusty bones. I know by this time now you have understood what is going on right now in the body of Christ. People are fighting each other. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this fight is getting worse and it might even lead to other consequences. Some might even lose their lives because from the look of things, the way I see these people, they are taking this matter personally. You might find somebody losing his life. You don't know it was a fight that was between them. These pulpit people here, I'm now confusing everyone. So my advice to you right now, and I'll keep on saying, cultivate on your faith. Don't look upon any man of God. Focus on Jesus. In my previous video again, I said we should focus on Jesus. Jesus is the only way. He's the one who will take us to heaven. These pastors here who are fighting each other, they will not take us to heaven. They are always leading us to astray, destruction, to hell. Be careful. As I conclude this video, if you have not liked this video, please do like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share it to your friends and family to bless somebody else. Bye-bye for now. Stay blessed. Be blessed.